Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Disney Done Differently. So today we're heading over to Epcot, but we're not going to go the direction that you think we're going. No. You go through Mexico. And speaking of Mexico, over the next few weeks I'm going to uh, incorporate maybe a dish from every one of the countries all the way around the world show place. I think that'd be interesting. Some might be right from the park, some might be just from the actual uh, country itself. But my favorite character is located there, Donald. Three Caballeros, beautiful little boat ride. The one animatronic that gets beat up the most out of everybody. I've seen Donald replaced by a shrub, like a plant. They actually put a Mexican sombrero on top of it. And listen, you know, you got Donald, right? The Three Caballeros, they show you everything from Mexico. Coco. Mexico. Encanto, Colombia. Completely different country, but you got people saying we don't want to talk about Bruno in the middle of Mexico. I don't understand it. But anyway, today, enchiladas. Two different ways. Two different types. Let's go. All right, so first things first. Listen, I want to make things easier for you. I want it to be that anybody can do this stuff, right? So it's just cooking. Have fun. Um, supermarket. Costco, Sam's Club, they all sell rotisserie chickens, right? So we're gonna make chicken enchiladas. Why not go buy the rotisserie chicken? Save you a ton of time. The key thing though is, um, as you can see, the, I bought this chicken and you want to shred it as soon as it's hot. You can't shred it once it's cold. It just won't happen. Um, I like to use the white meat. So you just pull it apart and you see how it just shreds beautifully. And for the for one chicken, I get about two cups. So about two cups of, uh, of meat. Some people want to just use white meat, not the dark meat. If you want to do just the white meat, I suggest you get two chickens. I'm talking five dollars at Costco, folks. But enough of that. Let's get right to this. Okay, so we have our chicken and it's all shredded up nice. To that, I'm going to add a little salsa verde. Um, we just want to add, I don't know, about a half a cup of salsa verde. It's going to add really nice flavor. This is optional. Um, I like a little bit of heat. These are chipotle peppers. It's going to add a little bit of smokiness. Add about a tablespoon. That's about it. And then you just want to incorporate, make sure everything is incorporated properly. Because you don't want that the pepper to just sit on one area. It's gonna to be too hot. Also, if you'd like, you could actually put the pepper in um, and then, you know, incorporate it and take it out. That can, you can do that as well. But we got this incorporated nice. We're halfway there with this one. So, Okay, this is nice and incorporated. We give it a little touch more. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And there's a chicken mixture. Nice, quick, easy. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. We're gonna make a sauce for this. Um, very simple. This is the pan that we're going to actually do the enchiladas in. To start at the bottom, just some heavy whipping cream. Just want you to pour some heavy whipping cream until the whole bottom is covered. Okay, nice and easy. I'm going to put this guy right here. Now, <clears throat> we have chicken stock. I'm going to pour a little bit of chicken stock into this. I'm going to show you why. That's it. Not, not too much. This is just going to be working in a way so that our tortillas will be soft. So, you got your 
You get your chicken stock. We have our enchilada uh, where we're going to put them in. And the last thing that we need is cheese. Right? So, I'm going to pour some cheese into this container here. Now, I'm using uh, Colby Jack. Right? It's my daughter's favorite. Use whatever you want. The Fiesta Mix. Anything you want. But, five seconds. In. All this does is make the tortilla pliable. Okay? And you grab a nice healthy scoop of your chicken mixture. Oh, this one's got a lot of the peppers in there. That's going to be a hot one. Okay? And right across. Eh, maybe another little guy. I'm going to top it with some cheese. And then you're just going to roll it tight. Alright, pull everything to you. And you roll. And seam side down. Right in here. Just like that. And we're going to repeat. So, let's go again. So into the chicken stock, All right? You guys can see that. One side, two side, out. Chicken mixture onto here. Spread that out. And cheese. Pull to you, wrap tight, seam side down. That's it, folks. That's how simple this is. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make up a whole bunch of these, and, and then I'll show you how we finish it before it goes into the oven. So now that we have them all done, I'm actually just finishing them, just going to sprinkle some cheese across the top. Um, these are basically ready to go. So I got two, four, six, seven. Seven we're able to fit in here. Probably could have did eight, but uh, I made mine a little bit large. Um, this is going to go into the oven, and we're going to make a sauce to go on top of it. All right, first sauce. Um, you know me, folks. I want flavor. So, pork chorizo. Not beef chorizo and not the solid state chorizo. This is a uh, ground pork chorizo um, filled with pork and, and paprika and all those different spices. So um, I'm going to open this up, throw it to the pan, add some heavy cream. I'm going to let that cook. And then we're on to the next one. All right, so chorizo to the pan. And this takes probably maybe five to six minutes to cook out. Um, I'm on a medium heat and you'll see it. The sad part about it is it doesn't really change um, the way it looks from when it's cooked to the way it's raw. Um, but you can tell. So we're going to cook this and you want to spread it out as much as possible. Quick and easy, and we'll add our cream, and we'll let that simmer. All right, so chorizo's cooking, um, as I said, and now we're gonna move on to the, to the second enchilada. So, I wanted brisket. Couldn't find brisket anywhere. Um, it, it, the prices are going crazy with meat. But this is stir-fry steak. So think about it, when you're in the store, think about what your end result is and what you want. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, we're gonna take this, we're gonna cube this up, add it, saute it with some onions, some spices, put it to the side, and build the next ones. All right, so just take a small stack, and they're already sliced, we're gonna slice it in half, and then we're gonna just cut it into small, little pieces again we'll cut it in half Oops. 
let's go over to the stove. All right, now our chorizo is, is cooked. I'm just gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Give this a mix and let this simmer while the enchilada is cooking in the oven. Wait till you see this. All right, so we'll start the pan off with a little bit of avocado oil. I'm going to add into one diced onion. We're not looking for a ton of color on this. We're actually looking for flavor. This is going to become the filling of the enchilada. And then we'll take our meat that we sliced and diced up. This is going to cook fast, folks. Alright, so we're going to add a little bit of pepper. And some salt. Remember, salt is going to actually let the onions release um, some of that liquid. And at this point, a little bit of oil. And about a teaspoon of garlic and you want to cook that out. Let that cook out nice before you incorporate it into everything. Alright, now that you can tell, basically you're at I would at this point I would say I'm at the halfway point, almost getting towards the three quarters. All right, the onions are releasing its juices, the garlic is incorporated. All right, get your salt and pepper in there. This is totally up to you. But for me, I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. I'm going to add some paprika. And I'm going to add some chili powder. There you go. Now, what I just did, cumin, paprika, chili powder, garlic, salt, pepper, that's taco seasoning mix. So if you guys feel like uh, you never have it and you want to make those regular tacos, there you go. Alright, so this is going to simmer for a little bit. I'm going to cool it off. And we're going to use this to make our second bunch of enchiladas. It's not difficult. Regular enchilada sauce. Nothing special. Okay? But, we're going to make it special. I'm going to add it to the oven. I'm going to switch this out. We're just going to bring this to a simmer. But, if you can see, it's very thin, very thin sauce. So we're going to thicken this up a little bit. All right, this is beginning to simmer. So at this point, I'm just going to add, I had uh, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and I added some water. You don't add the whole thing. Add a little bit at a time. Let the heat do its magic, and you can always adjust and make it thicker. To make it thinner, not so much. So let's see what this does with a little bit that I just added and we'll be right back to it. All right so first things first we're going to take our our pan and we're just going to put some of that enchilada sauce. See how much thicker it is now folks? That's what I was looking for. So just Move that around. Basically, it's just so that the enchiladas don't stick to the bottom of the pan when they go into the oven. And then we'll put this to the side. Okay. So we got our meat, we got our enchilada sauce, I have my cheese. We're going to take the tortilla in to the sauce. Notice I didn't dunk it. 
You don't need to. Alright, we have that on the inside. A little scoop of this. Now listen folks, you could have added hot green chilies to this if you wanted to. I'm using pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese is Monterey Jack and jalapenos. So I just felt that it would have been too much to add with the meat and too much of a spice if I was to add the green chilies. Remember, I'm cooking for my family. Sometimes we give it to the fire department. So let's go. And again, just like the previous ones, you're gonna pull, roll, seam side down, right in. Again, in, one side, out. Beef. Pepper Jack. Up. Oh. Tight. Roll. There's two. So we're going to go ahead and finish these up. With that, we're going to take the what's left of the sauce and we're going to go right over. And then, this is up to you. How much cheese do you put on to make it cheesier? For me, we go with all of it. Hard part's done, folks. Put this here. We got the chicken. We got the beef. Both going in the oven for uh, 30 minutes, 350 degrees. Remember, I have for this one, I have the uh, chorizo sauce. And then we plate. All right, and here we go. So. We got the beef, with the enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce, and pepper jack, the onions, we got the chicken, the rotisserie chicken, um, shredded with the cream, and the Colby jack. Let me uh, get into here. Oh, the smell of this is amazing right now. You know, that cream mixed with the cheese. So, get under here. Oh. Now this one gets a little special something. All right. So, we'll put that there. And, This one, let's see if we can cut this right here. I'm going to separate it from the sides. Really, this is the hardest part of the whole dish. Look at that. Put that there. And then for this one, remember that chorizo sauce that we had. So we're just going to take a little bit, pour it right on top. Look at 
that. If that's not beautiful. All right, now the only thing to finish it with, a little cilantro, your choice. Some people say it tastes like soap. I don't think so. Give this a quick wipe right here. Look at that, folks. If You got to enjoy that. I mean, simple, easy. We just made them. I mean, have fun with food. One thing left to do. Let's eat. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed what you saw so far. We're going to get into this. Whether you come in in Epcot through Canada, through Mexico, whichever way, look at it this way. I make enchiladas two different ways. Me personally, 90% of the time, I'm coming in from France because I come in through the International Gateway. So there's always another way. Have fun with food. Make these dishes because they're enjoyable. Mexico Pavilion, I think we did it. I'd like to send this out to a couple new friends of mine, Nate, Vanessa, Jennifer. I made a little Mexican dish, Italian guy, what do you know? Let's see how it tastes. So first, I'm gonna go for the chicken one first with the cream and that chorizo sauce. Oh, not only do you get, remember, we did the green salsa, <clears throat> did a little bit of the adobo, we'll get that right here, the cream, miles it out, and then the chorizo with the spices and the paprika, brings that all up, that is delicious. All right, let's see what the other one. Let me know which one you like better. Make them. You don't have to listen. Some people do this video. That would have been two videos. One day they'll do the chicken one, and the next day they'll do the other one. Not here. We'll give you both at the same time. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Ready? Oh my God. Completely different. The beef, the onions, cumin, paprika, garlic, and then that enchilada sauce. Remember we made it a little thicker? Pepper jack cheese. I have my winner of the two, but I'd like for you guys, throw it in the comments. Make this dish. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Hey, Nate. Tell your friends. Gotcha. But anyway, from my kitchen to yours, till next time everybody, thank you, bye.